um, because I mentioned it yesterday in the video that I posted. Um, so I'm not going to be on for too long, but I wanted to um, make some tea and talk about some stuff. So I think hopefully there'll be people that can join. I just kind of like, this is really impromptu. I was going to post it and then some, like, I was just doing a little bit of running around this morning. So, um, and I'm not sure how long I'm going to be on for, but um I did want to check in and touch base with people and uh, I know it's kind of like a busy day and so um, there might not be too many people available so I was like I don't know if it's better to do it like later in the evening but we're all like in different time zones so it's hard to hard to know um, so but welcome I see somebody's in here hi <laughs> I'm in kind of like an odd 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 I'm feeling excited and I'm a little tired Oh, five people. Wow. Could somebody like um, say hi so I can make sure that the chat's working? Um, oh, wait, let me try. I think I can. Mm, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know how to write hi in the chat. Um, I'll have to learn that. I see a little chat button, but. Hey, from Canada. Oh, my gosh. Let me put my glasses on. There's some new names in here. This is exciting. Hi, Peter from Canada. Hi, Nico54. Welcome. I feel like your new names. I haven't seen your names before, so welcome. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to uh, my channel. Hey, Dar. Hi. <laughs> Yay. Hi. Um, I know Dar. <laughs> um, that's exciting. But yeah, so I'm just going to make some tea. I'm in my car home. Um, this is a great time if anybody has questions about my car build because i'm i'm here i tidied up <laughs> yeah we're pals <laughs> straw buddies <laughs> yeah oh absolutely nico 54 you're welcome um thank you for being here and spending this time with me um uh, i i said in my last video i'm excited i'm gonna be uh hitting the road soon so that's exciting and it's um this car is relatively new to me this particular car and uh it's gonna be a a journey at branching out and and hitting the road um so i'm a little nervous a little anxious to be honest um you have a pilot too is that you have a pilot yes awesome peter go for it you and your girlfriend i've gotten you inspired to um yes i mean sometimes like we can choose a new chapter in our life Okay, cool. Honda. Sometimes we can, we were like, we're like, okay, I'm just ready. Sometimes life chooses it for us. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes things happen, events happen in our life and it's like, we got, we got to start over. Um, and so I've, I've experienced both in my life where life has, um, you know, I've, uh, things have happened that, that felt like they knocked me down, but fortunately it taught me I can get back up again. And, um, yay. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Miss J. I have some yarn I want to show you, actually. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up. Um, so, yeah, and sometimes we choose to, to journey out in a different direction or an adventure. So that's exciting to hear that I can be an inspiration. That means a lot. That's why I'm choosing to put myself out there. And um, it is a little uncomfortable for me to be in front of the camera, but I'm growing a lot through it. And I really, really value you guys that are here and being a part of this. Like, it, it, it means... It means the world. It means a lot, you know, um, and the connections building. But I say that a lot, so uh, I don't mean to be redundant. I just really mean it. <laughs> um, and I'm so happy to, like, answer any questions or um, uh, share anything about my car build. If I can help you, like, Nico, uh, you, you said you had a, a pilot as well. Um, is it one that you've built out? Is it built? Like, hi, Rain. Another new name. Hi, Rain. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the live. Um, so I'm going to put some tea on. I don't know. I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit here if you can see. Um, uh, this has been working great like 95% of the time. I recommend this if somebody's looking for a water cooler. It doesn't drip and I have a sticky pad underneath it. Um, 
I don't want to move it around too much. I don't want to mess with the camera and stuff too much, but under here is, um, here, I'll show it. These things are great. Just like the rug pads and you can cut them to fit. So this, sometimes it tilts. <laughs> I know that. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Solomon. Um, excellent. Excellent. Oh, just a regular pilot, not a Honda pilot. What's a regular pilot? And you have it almost converted to where we are comfortable to go out on an adventure. Awesome. Awesome. So it's a, can you put what kind of van that was again? Uh, I converted, I don't know if you've looked in my channel. I had a van that I, um, a van that I had converted. Um, it was a Dodge, uh, 1500, uh, it's a 2000, uh, it was a 2002 and you haven't built it e350 okay a ford okay yeah so like a cargo van but it's a little bit longer i think than the one i was working with i say go for it i was able to do my whole van build um i got the van for 2800 and i was able to convert the van for 22 2300 about that oh an ambulance that's awesome i've seen some amazing ambulance builds honestly, because there's a lot of room to work with. That's like, that's awesome. That, have fun with that. Um, are you going to, you're, you're going to build it out? I'm guessing. Um, I found that the pilot for what I do, the door dashing, it's like, it's like such a happy uh, compromise between the Corolla, which got great gas mileage and I was able to save a lot doing door dash, but uh, it, it was, it was, it was a tight, tight fit. <laughs> I won't even I won't even pretend it wasn't I mean I was willing to make it work but um I did put a lot of miles in a short time on that car and it was already kind of high miles to begin with so um that you know the check engine light had come on and off from ever since I had gotten it and I did bring it in um to the the dealership that's awesome um okay so you're almost done with the conversion that's that's awesome. And you're taking a road trip. <laughs> I, I saw Louisiana to Georgia. The thing with doing this on my phone, well, I've never done it on anything else, but um, the they go away, The you know? So if I miss any comments, I do, um, um, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to. I'm trying to catch them all. Um, and and it's, so, it's a fun way to interact, but I also feel like I'm all like jumping over. So I'm doing the best I can. And thank you guys for commenting because that's how I get to know you guys and your stories and um, everything. I'm gonna turn this water on. Uh, I don't know. This thing back here, I love. I've pointed it out before. Um, so I, when I did my window coverings, I just did. Um, hey, Nurse Babs. <laughs> Hi from Florida. How's how's the weather there? Ontario, Canada to Vancouver. Okay. I've heard cool things about Vancouver. I was only there when I was a kid, but. I'm going to pull this one out because it's easy to quickly put back up again, but um, these are just Reflectix. I said I was going to do a video on this, uh, and I haven't, but um, so I'll show you guys real quick while I'm on the live. Some of you might already know this, so <laughs> it's cool, but for anybody who is wondering about the Reflectix, I just bought a roll at Home Depot. I think it was like $14, and it was enough for all my windows, and then I, I, then I took the roll and I stuffed it in the window to the shape and like pushed it around like that and got the general shape and then took a pair of scissors and traced around it and cut it and then I'm in the woods a lot so there's some pine needles on here but um this is just fleece and um I don't and I got it um just some fleece and then I don't remember exactly the stores stores I got the fabric from but um Okay, cool. Rain. I will. I'll do a video. Yeah. And then I used a spray adhesive that I got from the dollar store. So, but I'll do a video about them. And I did both sides. And what's so cool about these here, let me see. Um, you can just like, well, it also helps because this uh, pilot has deeper set windows. Um, so they kind of stay, but it just stays. And that's that. And be, and I found that um, I had duct tape on my Corolla, but that actually had like a little bit of a shine. Um, and it, it, especially in the bright sun, the sun would, would shine off the tape. But with the fleece, this black fleece on here, um, 
it it doesn't reflect the light in the same way so you can't even tell the tints aren't that dark on this car um and it just looks like now it has a dark tint on it uh, and the only one that i have um without that even that that has that fleece on it but instead of the fabric i put some fabric up here and then i got this from amazon it was like 20 bucks and it's a sticky wall decal and i just i like i liked it was a you know kind of a peaceful vibe there um and then i have uh the only one that i don't have the reflectix in and i think actually i'm reminding myself because i want to do that before i travel um but is is that window i think i want to make one but this just um unhooks and you know that's enough thank you i'm gonna um there's two new people that though at the builds um so uh, you're the one with the um ambulance is am i getting that right or the or the ford van um so i'm trying to remember the um the details so i can but yeah so this is nice it, it kind of like makes it a little cozy and because i want to get um for my strawberry plant uh thank you rain yeah i it's having like a space it doesn't need to be huge but having um like a space that is uh I need that print in your back window because I use a car. Yeah, um, I can put the link. Um, I think I've put it in one of my videos. Somebody asked about it, and I'll try to I'll try to put the link in again um, for that. And they have all different ones. Uh, they have like different scenes and stuff, mountains and different things. I just liked the water, the um, and the swan. I have, kind of have a thing for swans um, these days, but. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, <laughs> uh, where did my... Oh, I was like, I never actually put my tea on. <laughs> Thanks for hitting the like button. I see there's five likes. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, this setup is kind of cool here with the water. I, I'm not going to mess with it too much, but you get the idea. Um, and I, as long as I keep this thing filled and I get gallons of spring water, which they have at the dollar store good place to get spring water right now it's a uh, crystal mountain i think spring water i like to drink spring water and i've noticed it's gone gone up in price quite a bit so um the dollar store is a good place to get get um uh oh well all right so it's gonna be really full <laughs> i got a little carried away um uh, and then there's this my stove this is this is my kitchen um set up over here it also has a diesel power stroke that's been a lot of fun doing the conversion it taught a lot of patience yes yeah each step of the way so i it, it, i have some of my van um when i converted my van i did more this is i didn't do as much i did a little carpentry well here let me show um i did a little bit it's not it's not like let me see if i can turn the camera around oh yeah move my feet out of the way um hi Nyla welcome <laughs> we know you so um absolutely thanks for joining Nico yeah thanks for joining us and good luck um so this is the carpentry that I did on this one is is really simple and I um there's like these things brackets uh that kind of hold it together and uh there's some over there as well and then i did two shelves hey douglas yeah happy um labor day absolutely happy labor day to you too and to everybody that's here and so i did some over here as well and honestly it's really hard to get down there um and so that one doesn't have any and uh i need to fix that because you can see it kind of tilts so it's coming along and then also this cutting board is propping that up um so it's all like a work in progress but i love my kitchen setup because uh i can use it from either side i've made a video about that as well but i can i can open the door and stand outside if i'm like at a campground or in the woods and or like right now i'm in a parking lot in a more urban area i can use it from here and um i got those uh, sorry I'll put the camera back in its regular spot in a minute I just want to get this set up and that's locked 
and pow, get my tea going. All right, so let's get this back where it was. Um, somebody asked, yeah, thank you. I love the kitchen area and um, I'm working on, let me go to this again. Yeah, that's from REI. Um, it was 45 or 47 dollars, 45 maybe, and I love it. It matches my <laughs> it matches my theme here. Um, there's my bag of yarn. I'm gonna pull that out, Miss Miss J. If you're still in here, that's some purple yarn I got for your hat. I remember you wanted purple. I have tons of books, and I write tons of stuff in my books. So, yeah, that's that's my house, guys. Here I am in my house. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn it around. Um, it really gets warm though. I'm excited for the weather to cool down a little bit and because I do use the stove a lot and it gets quite warm um, with the stove on. So I have a skylight, which I love on my ceiling and I have the, um, and it's open right now. So I get a little airflow, so that's cool, but um, and it's stealth. Nobody needs to know that that's open up there when they drive by. It's not like that. It's the one that goes like that. Oh, yeah, it's Ms. Ms. J. Um, she likes purple. Um, oh, yeah, that green. I love, like, a bright green, like a plant green, like like new growth, new plant growth when the sun, shine, it's, the sun is shining through it. Is like one of my absolute favorite colors. I tried to dye my hair that color when I was like 18 and it, it was a fail. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. It might have been like, it just, it, it, yeah. But I do love, 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 love that color. Um, yeah, so uh, somebody asked about my cat and I'm still on the fence. I, I, uh, I, I, would, I, I would love to have my cat with me. Um, I'm just a little nervous um, about being able to take care of her well enough. Um, I'll answer that in just a, just a second, Doug, Douglas, good question. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about being able to take care of her well enough and being able to, um, I, I, I've, had, I've, I've lost pets in the past and I don't wanna go through that again. Um, so as much as I love her, I'm hoping that within a few years, I'm at a place where I can um, have her like on some land or a tiny home or something larger. You know, I don't, I don't know what the future holds, but I think that for this journey, I probably am leaning towards not bringing her. Um, although I'm gonna take her camping. I'm gonna post the, I'm gonna make some videos about it. I am gonna um, try her out again. And um, I have a whole long story about a harness. That was a situation. I did get a harness for her and um, it, it, it was, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into that right now, but um, yeah, I, I don't know yet, I guess would be the quick answer. Um, I would love to, I'm just not sure. Um, hey, Catherine from Ireland. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's with my son and um, she's got a, a good place there and I know she'll miss me and actually whenever I go visit she's like mad at me <laughs> she she takes a while to warm up and she like doesn't even like come say well she'll say hi but then she'll like and then slowly because normally she's like always right there like so tuned in like I think you saw on the cat video she was just like sitting there like right behind me like um so it to have her kind of like distance herself is kind of odd but but I know she's safe and I know um yeah it's a it's a it's a decision everybody needs to make for themselves and also to know their cat um when I was driving around she would go under the blanket like in between like I don't actually I think it, she went all the way under the mattress in between the plywood and the mattress and that was like her safe spot so in terms of like being able to door dash and having her with me like she was like totally out of the way that's the other thing is I door dash and I'm not sure if I want to door dash oh my tea's boiling I'm not sure I want to door dash with a cat that doesn't feel like I, 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 I that feels outside of my comfort zone with like handling food and stuff even though it's all packaged and everything I just I feel like it's too meant too much going on so um I do plan on doing a lot of door dashing as I'm traveling so that's another factor um but I will take her um camping again before I 
hit the road. Um, no, there haven't been. So I've been putting um, peppermint oil spray on this. Catnip. Maybe catnip to calm her down. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost out of it, actually, this. Um, but this is peppermint and um, lemongrass and cin cinnamon, and it was water. And I, sp I sprayed this on my ceiling, and uh, hello, saludos de Costa Rica. Congratulations. Hi, Andrea. Welcome. That's another new name. Welcome. This is exciting. Welcome to... Um, those of you who have recently joined the channel, or if you've just never commented before, welcome. Um, I love seeing all these new names. It's exciting. And please feel free to like ask questions. Douglas, I haven't forgotten your question about editing. Um, oh yeah, mint and maybe catnip, actually. Yeah, I, um, yeah. Over here, yeah, some mint and um, somebody suggested rosemary. I thought that was a really good idea too. Um, so I'm thinking maybe a little like herb garden, natural herb garden stuff. That would be fun. Um, so Douglas, to answer your question about editing, um, no, I, I, I wasn't, I, I don't have, um, well, okay. So there's a program called GarageBand and there was a little uh, period where I got into uh, making music. Um, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> One thing I've realized about my teapot is it's like, it gets very hot, the handle. And I keep meaning to crochet myself like a hot pad, but I haven't. So now I'm going to let that cool. Um, but it, uh, what was I saying? Uh, anybody remember what I was saying? I totally forgot. GarageBand. Um, so GarageBand, I did do a little bit of, um, that's similar to the editing app that I use. But um, where, you know, you move things around and there's tracks and you cut them and move them and... Um, you know, I did, I, I, I like to sing and play instruments and it was fun to kind of like layer and create some of my own songs. Um, and they're somewhere on a, 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 a computer, but I, I don't have the charger for it and it's really old. So um, that's the only experience with editing. And if you go back to some of my early videos, they are like kind of funny, <laughs> the editing. Now I go and look with like a critical eye and I'm like, oh, why did I like have that go on for so long? Or the music's really loud at the beginning, whatever, you know, it's, um, I've learned a lot and I like to think about it. Like, um, I like to write and actually I, I used to like to write papers. So it's kind of like writing a paper, like, like editing a video, you know, like the beginning and end and like all that. And it's, it feels like it's some of the same skills. So, um, that's, that's cool. So that's it, I guess. Oh, Um, purchased, rented, or borrowed. You were wondering about Ms. J. If, um, I, so I purchased the tools for my van build. Um, and you know, when I got them, I was like, okay, I'm going to be living in my van and then I'm going to have, um, land and a tiny home. And so I invested in wireless tools and there, there were Ryobi was the brand and they have, um, they, and I got a couple charger packs and I think I show those in some of my early van videos. Um, and they were pretty good. I had a, a jigsaw and I had a, a drill and I think that was it. Like a screwdriver drill, like different bits that could be used. And then I had the, um, the jigsaw is what I did a lot of. A jigsaw is a very handy tool and it, and it, you know, if you have those chargers and charge up the battery packs and keep a couple of those, um, I was able to use that. And they're not too expensive. I actually got some, some of them were used and some of them new, like the, the drill and, uh, was used for like 50 bucks and it came with some other stuff. And the jigsaw was a little bit more. I think it was like maybe, I don't remember, 120. Um, yeah, yes. Well, good. There you go. Um, yeah, and a sander. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and that worked well. And you can get like a metal blade for the jigsaw. And that's how I cut the skylight. Um, and for the fan, well, I started to cut the fan. But in that video, if you watch, um, it was like my 
friend's neighbor that ended up installing it. But um, I did do the skylight. Um, a bed for your SUV and you got your t tools on sale at Home Depot. Yeah, the Ryobi tools are, are good. They're like not the most expensive, but they worked fine for me. And you guys seem to really like this green color of this stove. It's like the same color, um, which I liked that too. I was like, ooh, these tools. Okay, so I did sell, um, yeah, go the van, the van conversions. There, there was, um, I built the bed and the shelves and stuff. I didn't do videos. I kind of like, I was watching videos and learning how to do stuff. And then I got to a point and I was like, wait, I should be like documenting what I'm doing because maybe I can help, you know, like may, there might be somebody looking out there. So, um, I didn't, I didn't. I don't have much of like putting in the floor and um, I put in there's a nice kind of a I don't think it's called plywood it's um, beadboard from Home Depot and that's what I put up on the walls and it's nice it looks kind of polished and I got a uh, Havelock wool in insulation and I put that in there um, I don't really go into that anywhere on any of the videos but and I used the jigsaw to cut the beadboard um, and then it had if you've like if you've like had a van and it has those metal ridges um and so it's just like the metal to the roof but then it has you know it actually has like another thing and so you can screw into that without like compromising the integrity of the the roof um or the ceiling um so that was cool that's what i put that beadboard up um and did that way so but I sold my tools. I don't have those tools now. So I didn't use, the only thing I have used, and this is why it's not all done. <laughs> all I have now is a handheld screwdriver. Well, and a hammer. And I mean, I don't, I don't have those tools anymore. Um, I sold them when I was like getting rid of everything. And I thought, you know, someday I do want to build a tiny home and, um, you know, I'll need them down the road, but I, I don't want to have to keep track of them. And I just, I, I sold them and um, yeah, so it wasn't, I appreciated having them to do the, the conversion, but so all I've done is a handheld screwdriver. You can go to Home Depot and it, so for this shelves here in the kitchen and stuff, I, um, I did the measurements. So I have a tape measure too, actually, I should say. And I did the measurements of how long I wanted this to be, how high. I knew I, I didn't want it to be up above the window. I wanted it to be right at the window for the plants. And, um, I did have these bags already. Um, I already had these, so I knew I wanted them to be able to fit and it was okay if they folded. I mean, they're soft. Oh, oh, that's my, my pan back there. I keep some, my pan, my big pan back there. <laughs> um, but I, I did the measurements and I brought them into Home Depot and, um, you can kind of look around at the different boards they have there. Um, and so I found these are actually two boards put together. Um, and they're, they, they're, they sell little brackets. So I screwed the little, um, nice rain. Yeah. So cool. So let's, I'm glad you're part of this channel. Um, I missed that comment. It faded away. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you're part of the channel and, um, it's, that's yeah. Land in a, a tiny home. Um, that's where I'm, where I'm headed <laughs> step by step getting there. Um, so Home Depot is great. If you go in, I think now they have a sign. It says you can do two cuts or something for free and it's 50 cents after that, but it is so worth it to, you just got to kind of like, whether you draw it out or can just see it and measure. However, if you know, okay, I want to build some shelves or my bed and then you can go in and pick out the wood and say, you know, I'd like this cut at 84 inches or 33 inches or whatever, and they'll do it and they'll do it for free. And then it's 50 cents for each, each additional cut. And so like this, I knew I, there were, this, that's how I got the piece of plywood that my bed is on. And, um, that's how, you know, that's, that's what I did. So I didn't, I didn't need the tools. Um, and I don't, I don't think I'll need them for a little bit, but yeah, someday down the road. Um, I feel like I'm missing some questions, but, um, Ms. J, do you like this purple? I got, I found a yarn store this morning and, um, do you like this purple yarn? They had so many to choose from. I was like, I'm going to just focus on purple yarn and get out of here because there was so much yarn in there. It was really fun. <laughs> um, but I have yarn and I'm, that's full of yarn. Um, 
Nice, okay, I'll start working on your hat. Um, what brought me to Washington? Um, nice rain, yeah, well, welcome, yeah. <laughs> um, what brought me to Washington? Uh, well, just to change the land. Um, yeah, the, the land out here is gorgeous. Um, and I've had a lot of family growing up. Um, I have a lot of family out here and there's a lot of family history, childhood memories. Um, so I'd never lived in Washington before, but, um, I have a lot of, a lot of, um, memories from growing up and family and then the land. Um, I did live in Oregon for a while and I love it. Um, but it wasn't somewhere I wanted to go back to. Um, so, and, uh, uh, I, I like, I like Tacoma actually. Um, so I kind of looked up and did like a little research and it was, a, it was spontaneous. It was, uh, 2013. So I've been out here since 2013. Um, so it's time, time to branch out a little bit <laughs> and yeah, I'm ready for, for new adventures. I'm, I'm ready. I, I, th I think I'm ready and I, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I was like typing, like, I think I'm ready. I was like, no, I'm ready. But I, some days I feel like I think I'm ready. Um, and I, it's, a it's a good experience for me to be able to exercise that muscle of courage where it's like you're being afraid to do something but doing it anyway and I think I said this in the video it's like knowing that well there's fear and um there's also opportunity you know because it's unknown so with the unknown it's like you don't you don't know um nice yeah Tacoma Tacoma's cool um you don't yeah you don't know the the unknown it's like it's <laughs> and there's a lot of opportunity so i'm gonna put out that things will be amazing and um it's yeah um it really is i mean i love it that there are mountains and ocean and um it's cool because there's a nice blend of like cities and nature right right yeah oh thank you yeah, I, I mean, I've always been, um, I don't know, I don't, the free, I don't, I don't like labels, so I'm like the word free spirit feels like it's used to the point, it's like used so much that it almost feels like a label, so I'm like, eh, but um, <laughs> I like adventure, I like experiencing things, I like, I like putting in situations that are new because it's like, you, you learn a lot um, about yourself, about other people, about the world, and um, yeah, so I'm excited, and I'm excited to make some videos. Um, I'm going to try pouring this tea. Um, I can't remember if I already put, this is this ginger, and then I put a couple tea bags in here. Um, and then I have a question for you guys. Um, it's cooled down enough, I can pour it. I haven't had any coffee today. I had some chai tea this morning. And now I'm having tea now, so I love coffee. <laughs> you guys know I love coffee, but I'm trying to like not have it so much. I feel like sometimes I end up being like over caffeinated and it gets kind of like harsh. Um, I am, I'm, I'm gonna be for a couple months. Um, I have something lined up for a couple months that I'm plugged into, so I'm not gonna say yet. Um, well, I will say that they're goats. <laughs> Maybe I, yeah, maybe that's enough to like, I mean, it's not like there's going to be goats at Target or something, so, um, but yeah. Anyway, um, and it's nice. It worked out with the timing. I've loved what I've done for the summer, and it's a seasonal thing, though, so when I started, um, that was something I had already discussed, so, with, um, when I was hired there, and, uh, you know, that, that during the season when it slows down, I would be doing other things, so, I, I love it. Um, but I'm excited to be doing something else. Um, mood lift is to you. So yeah. Ooh, peel. Okay. I saw a lot of like falls and then the burr months. Oh, I missed those. Those are some long comments and they came quick. Um, so, but yes, I love, um, yeah. Chai, cinnamon, cloves. That's, that's, well, I don't, this is, that's why I'm, I'm such a big ginger fan. And especially this time of year, cause they're warming spices. Um, cinnamon cloves all that uh I, got, I, I have like an elderberry 
uh, video making elderberry syrup and then and I talked a little bit about that in there but um, absolutely I agree with you Catherine and it's cool I think you were commenting about the crab apples too so it's cool it seems like you have some knowledge of uh, our, our plant plant friends and medicines and uh, that's exciting I'm excited to share uh, I don't know if I put the ginger in here or not No, I did not. It's just tea. Um, so I'm going to pour a little of that. So I transplanted these plants. Um, and I like this one says love grows here. And I was like, when I put my the strawberry, I was like, well, anyway, I have some strawberry stickers. And I, I want, um, I can't decide which strawberry sticker to stick on there. So, um, oh, awesome. Yay. <laughs> That's great, Rain. Um, we learn from each other. I'm learning from you guys, too. I don't know. Maybe this is going to be... Do you think that? It's hard to see. It's kind of far away. Maybe I should stick a few. Um, but I have these stickers. Maybe that one? Maybe I can narrow it down. I like... Or this one. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Or this one. This is... the. <laughs> All right, I don't know how to do this. Let's see. Um, I'm going to narrow it down to three. Okay, these three stickers. Which ones do you think? Um, this is one. And it's just going to go here. But, you know, that way it can be interactive. You guys can help me decide. This is, so that's one, sticker one. It's sticker two. That way it's bringing in the love. I love Rain's name too, Douglas. And then this is um, three, sticker three. Okay, Catherine, you like two? Yeah, I'm kind of leaning that way too because of the love, right? This was two. Any other votes before it? Oh, sticker three? This was sticker three. Okay, so now we have these. And I think this was one. Okay, we got two votes for two. There's room for more than one sticker too. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> I'll put both of them on. I've been meaning to um, do this, but I was like, we'll put that right there. It's got the strawberry love connection there now. And then I'll put this one on too. Um, actually, that brings me to um, something kind of exciting. Uh, all of them. <laughs> okay, I can do that too. This one's a little tricky to get unstuck. I did, um, I've been having a fun little creative project going on, and um, I'm curious if anybody, um, all right, we'll put this one over here on that side, and we'll put the other one over here. That way they'll all get on there. Yeah. Um, so I made, um, I have some, some stickers there. So that it's got all the three. Thanks guys. <laughs> no, that would be so cool if they were scratch and sniff. Hi, hi, not me. That would be super cool. Oh my gosh. No, but, um, I have. I have lots of nice smelling things in the car, so, um, yeah. Um, so I have a sticker, and I can show you the design. Um, I've been working on a, <laughs> I've been working on a sticker, and I would like to share it with you guys. And I know that sometimes, like, people don't want to share, um, I love strawberries too. I really love strawberries. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's clear or not. <laughs> um, but I do have some some um, stickers that um, I would like to share with you guys. And I know that not everybody is comfortable sharing their address. Um, thank you. Um, not, but 
if you are and you would like to receive a sticker, I've put my email. I opened up an email that's just specifically for this channel, and it's just rowansberrypatch at gmail.com, and it's um, under the description. I don't know how to do, like, a link. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Um, I see some YouTube channels, and they have, like, links, and I, I've, I've tried. Um, technology is, like, not... I, 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 I struggle with it sometimes, but I've learned, I'm learning a lot, um, and I'm willing to work at it, but right now it's just typed in my email, and, um, if you are comfortable, I, yeah, I know, but I copy it, the, I don't know, maybe, I, I don't have it open in front of me, um, I, I, I try, like, I, you like press most of the time when you copy a link like for the Amazon stuff like that in the comment it, I just like clicked on it or like the three dots and it would like say copy and then you can paste it and I think I was able to copy the link for the email address but then like if you add a space it will turn blue okay I'll give that a try yeah I'll definitely give that a try um because it would be cool to have that link where where people can just click on the link because right now I think like um, you know, you gotta, like, write it down, and just Rowan's berry patch is, is kind of long, um, although, I mean, not, I don't know, but if you are wanting to, uh, reach out, that's how to do it, um, and I would love to, um, I have some stickers, so, uh, I'll show you the design of the sticker, and this is all the, like, the renditions, <laughs> Uh, I, I used a coffee cup lid, um, so it's not, not too polished yet, but this is the, the final, um, design, and it's a small sticker, it's like, it's small, um, oh, thank you, Douglas, yeah, I love drawing, I love, um, especially, like, I got to use the watercolors, um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try that with enter, for the link to turn blue. Yeah, I'll try that. I'll keep working on it because it'd be nice to just be able to like hit the link. Um, thank you. Yeah. So if you'd like a sticker and you um, would are comfortable emailing the address um, or somewhere to send them, uh, I'm happy to send those out. Uh, it would it would it'd be really special. It'd be like awesome. So um, it's kind of cool. When I was like 19, I made bumper stickers. And sold them and there were some of like a stream hi stay 44 strawberries are the best I I agree welcome you're a new name as well welcome welcome to welcome to the live and welcome to the channel and uh yeah strawberries <laughs> um, it was fun to watercolor these I think they came out kind of dark on the stickers but it still looks cool and they're highlighted um, strawberries are special for me for a lot of reasons and probably as I like get more comfortable um, I'll get a little more into 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 why um, but um, yeah I love I love strawberries and there's a lot of like connection between the heart chakra and strawberries and um, yeah oh thank you thank you that means a lot to know that just who you know I'm able to um help it, it means a lot um oh yeah I like strawberry shortcake oh yeah definitely um so to make strawberry shortcake it's hard like I have to figure out how to do a gluten-free I don't eat gluten I'm not like I don't uh, it's um it's more of an intolerance so every now and then I'm like I'm gonna go for it but I always regret it I feel it it, it gives like me inflammation and it, um you know joint joint pain and it does weird stuff with my moods too so I kind of try to stay away <laughs> from from gluten um but I want to make some gluten-free biscuits I want to figure that out so I can make some strawberry shortcake because yeah I, I do have a video about strawberry pancakes and uh, as the weather gets colder I'm excited I want to make some more strawberry pancakes um yeah how's everybody doing what are you guys up to today I mean, <laughs> we're here together at this point, but um, is everybody enjoying their uh, their Labor Day, their day off, lab their um, or whatever, their Monday? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like that that sticker. 
Um, and there'll be more, and it's just a way to share and give back uh, to you guys, like, um, yeah, um, and to connect. And uh, I think at one point I was like, oh yeah, for, <laughs> I want to do strawberry jam <laughs> when my channel grows to a certain point, and I'm gonna like make strawberry jam live and like send it out. And then I was thinking that's kind of a lot. I mean, I'm I still might want to take that on, but it's kind of a lot to mail jam. Um, Oh, and I mentioned for my hats, the Etsy um, shop, it's called N-O-B-A-A. -A. So it's N, oh, I gotta put my glasses on. Tea biscuits, okay, tea, I don't know, I'm not very familiar with tea biscuits, but it sounds like they probably have a gluten-free version. Mm hmm Tea biscuits and strawberries. Um. So this is from a company, it's N-O, uh, capital N-O, capital B-A-A. -A. Um, nice, tea biscuits. Do you know where I could get them? Because I'll do that. <laughs> I will definitely do that. Uh, and I'll put like the, the link. Oh yeah, that would be nice, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, like a get together for jam. Yeah, so I don't know when that'll happen, but I love that, yeah. That's a good idea. So not mailing off the jam. When I used to teach kindergarten, we'd make stone soup. I was into that book, Stone Soup, and that was kind of kind of fun. Um, and we actually put a stone in it too. We like washed it really well and stuff, but it was fun. And then invited families and everybody like brought a vegetable and we shared it. It's kind of cool. Um, so these are neat. These are, uh, I think I'll put the smaller ones on the hat. So the hats that I have too. Um, I have some, there's the green one, there's the gray one, um, I have some, they're not all, I don't have them all in front of me, um, there's a couple more, and, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm open to the possibility of the meetup, um, larger groups give me a little bit of anxiety, um, I do, better with like a couple people um which the um but uh yeah stone soup is an awesome book um but i'm learning i'm growing in a lot of ways and i'm learning as i tr as i have learned to trust myself um it allows me to open up more because uh i'm able to kind of discern and just um just move differently and i feel safer um so um I think a meetups would be cool, and it'd be definitely strawberries would have to be a big part of it. Maybe a strawberry potluck. <laughs> but these are pretty neat. Um, these are the big tags. So look at it. it's a strawberry plant with the leaf. I saw these and I was like, that's it. I gotta get those. So, like for example, that they're kind of large for the hats. Like I think I'm gonna um, that'll be more for like. I don't know, I got just a few of these, but I have 20 of these and um, it comes with a rivet. I haven't attached, I haven't attached them yet, but that'll be like the little strawberry. So I, um, but they're gonna be ready pretty soon. Uh, I know some people were interested in, in hats. And so just email about that as well. Um, but yeah, they got the little strawberry and that's all it'll say. It won't say like my name or anything. It's just gonna have this strawberry um but they are handmade by me uh and then these are from the that shop the etsy shop that i was mentioning so um yeah that's kind of what i think i've kind of like um that's kind of what i wanted to to chat with you guys every tea needs a theme yeah that's cool so well, I don't know. I feel like strawberries would be the theme. And then within that, <laughs> or maybe have like garden or like berries would be the theme. I don't know. Strawberry. Yeah. Maybe like my thing is kind of strawberries. So, but yeah, that would be fun. A toque. Are you from Canada? I think you said that because I used to read these books. Uh, I can't remember the author. And she was about like um, Montreal, that area of Canada, and they wore toques, toques, or 
and I had to look it up. I was like, what is it? And it was basically like a, a beanie like this. So yeah, thank you. It's kind of basic. Um, Ms. J, uh, I remember you were asking if it's um, nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, am I saying it right? Took? Took. Took? Yeah. Camping with three friends in or cars and one tent. I like that. Yeah, that's see that that could work. Um, took. Wait, I'm saying it two different ways. Which one's right? Took or took? Wait, <laughs> it's like the stickers. Took is it took? One or took? I don't know. <laughs> took. Okay, it's a took. Yeah. Um, or a beanie or um, yeah, a took. I like that. Um, so i can make them a little larger this is just going to be the size for people that are interested this is kind of it and they do stretch their wool this is all wool and this this is a wool merino that i got it's nice um so it'll have the stretchiness uh they if people are interested in them i can kind of go over like more care i guess in an email but um yeah so um but i miss j do you want a skull hat yes yep yeah i knew there was like Took. <laughs> okay, Douglas, you know, to it's took. <laughs> Is it French? Is that a French word? Oh, you'd like one? Book you one? What color? Very good tea party. <laughs> You're took my. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everybody has a hat on at the strawberry tea party. Uh <laughs> Um, I feel like a lot of time. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. Email with addresses and then, um, yeah, <laughs> that was a very good idea. <laughs> I feel like a lot of times I'm operating in like, um, you know, what's cool though, is like, I feel like as I've grown up, I've learned how to balance being responsible and safe in my life with also being able to enjoy like, um, the feelings that I felt as, as a child of just like, um, joy and having fun and, you know, it's life is very serious and like not serious all at the same time. Um, it is what we make it. And I hope that, um, a, a took, <laughs> a took, took, it's, it took me a long time to figure out the word took. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I think life, you know, it's cliche, but life is a series of moments. And so I think it, I try to remember that as much as possible. So I'm, I'm a little bit of a goofball because um, I, I'm silly and I, I enjoy the silliness. Took. Yeah, that sounds French. Took. Took. No, took. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry. I do, I do know some French. Um, I took... I, t <laughs> I took French, <laughs> I took French in, uh, uh, from when I was eight until 18 at the school they had. So I'm excited to put it to practice. I don't think I'm doing a very good job with the word took. Yeah. A skull cap, a beanie, a took. <laughs> hey, it's good. Yeah, I took. I, t I took French. <laughs> Hi, Kev. Welcome to the um, the live. I recognize your name, too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> Bien sûr. <laughs> Tout le temps. <laughs> I, I hope it'd be so cool if there was somebody in the chat that knows French. Peter, you might know French. Um, yeah, and I'm probably going to so embarrass myself. Um, yeah, so maybe not. Don't ask me questions in French, but I do want to go to France someday or even like um, uh, Montreal would be great to go and just be around the French language because I think I would it would come back to me. Um, I want to use it before before <laughs> I totally forget everything. <laughs> Don't know how long that'll be. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Omelette du fromage. 
cheese omelet. Yeah. Puke, took. Okay, so took. <laughs> It's too, too, like a cucumber, cuke, a toque. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fromage, cheese omelet. There's a lot of um, foods, French foods, I know. <laughs> Fondue. I actually, like, um, my great-great-grandfather only spoke French, I guess. Um... Wish I could share this tea with you guys. Anybody else drinking some tea or coffee or something? Cheers? Or water or something on my mug. It'd be cool sometime to do a live only in French. Like where I could so maybe once I like um hone up on my French skills and get like a uh, a little better. Maybe I yeah then um, it'd be cool to like challenge myself, but I'd need your support, you guys. So like somebody with like a French Google translator, if I got stuck, that would be like the ultimate challenge. I don't know, that's way down the road, but it'd be cool. Like, um, oh, you had green tea with lemon. That sounds good. Was it iced or hot? That sounds like it'd be good iced with lemon. Well, actually either way. It's like, it's so weird here, the weather. It's like the it's been rainy and colder, but now it's kind of warm. It's unpredictable weather these days. We're coming up on an hour live. Um, the nineties. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Southern California. Okay. How's the wet? How was? How are you, Ms. J? You're in San Diego, right? Um. Then it sounded like there was kind of some rough weather, maybe two weeks ago. Hope everybody's well. Soup and echinacea tea. Oh yeah, salmon. That's one. Yeah. Nice. You've never had coffee or tea in your whole life? Wow. Not even like herbal tea? And you're 62. Wow. I know people that don't drink coffee or t like, is it, are you just not interested in tea? Um, and M Ms. J, what kind of soup? You know, I love to talk about, I love to talk about food. <laughs> what kind of soup? No? Wow. I drink coffee daily, although I haven't had any today and I'm going to challenge myself. Usually I like to start the day with some coffee and then, um, Um, I like to start the day with coffee and then I've been trying to do that and then drink tea for the rest of the day. Um, I can really overdo the coffee cause I like strong coffee. So when I make it, I'm like, I'm going to make it and make it like, um, okay. Yeah. I mean that, yeah, that's good. It can be dehydrating. Um, and coffee, like I was just saying, I make it really strong. I like a strong cup of coffee. If I'm going to have coffee, I like it to be super strong, but I kind of overdo it sometimes yeah potato soup is good i was thinking of making some i have a couple potatoes in here that uh they I, they're maybe that's what i'll plant <laughs> i think they're growing something um on my on your birthday it was more of an all day downpour oh good but today's sunny sunny in the 70s i'm glad to hear the weather is nice and how was your birthday that's right because it was like right around the live how was your um the day of your birthday <laughs> yeah but I make my coffee super strong, and um, then I sometimes get, like, jittery. Like, even now, I can feel the caffeine. Oh, that's good. Chicken tortilla soup, I love that. Did you put sour cream and cilantro? I like cilantro. I know some people don't. I, 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 like, I like tortilla chicken soup. That sounds good. I think I'm getting hungry. I just had some of my seed crackers with an avocado, and then I ate one of my apples. It's a good time of year for apples. Um, uh, honey crisp, one of my favorite types of apples. And what walks on its own? The coffee, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was just. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It does. It like. I mean, that would be nice actually if I could like arrange it so the coffee walked itself into my coffee mug 
before I even like had to get up in the morning. That would be great. But no, usually it doesn't start walking till after I drink it. <laughs> yeah, cream of potato soup is really good. Cream of asparagus. Cream of artichoke. Um, yeah, cream of potato, potato cheddar, broccoli cheddar soup. I love soups. Ms. Oh yeah, chicken tortilla soup. That's what you have. Yeah, I love soup. Noodle soup, ramen soup. I might try to make a kimchi soup. Um, no sour, oh yeah, because of the salmon. I like your emoji. <laughs> That's how I felt going live. You're ninety percent better. Good. Yeah, that's this, that was that emoji. That was me. Like, should I go live or not? <laughs> but you guys are so like awesome. It, it's uh, this is like good. This is, it, we can um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm happy. A good tomato soup. Nice. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. I like um, grilled cheese and tomato with, with tomato soup. I used to really like, um, I would take like when I would go like backpacking in the when high school, I like to go on adventures. I would bring a can of SpaghettiOs. Oh yeah, grilled cheese and yeah, yum. Grilled cheese and uh, seafood. Seafood chowder, yes. You're eating baked sweet potatoes. It went away. Your birthday was busy. I celebrated all month. Did A to Z birthday bucket look? What? You did an all... Uh, okay, so what was on your... What did you... Like, can you tell, tell us what you did? <laughs> A to Z birthday challenge? That's like... <laughs> I like birthdays. I'm curious what was on your bucket list and like... Yeah. Um, wait, and there were some soup comments there. Oh yeah, SpaghettiOs. I used to like SpaghettiOs. Like backpacking, I'd bring a can, and for some reason that was like one thing where I was like, uh, I'm, I, they're fine. That they, like it was easy to heat them up. I'm not really into like canned soup, but I would bring SpaghettiOs. So tomato soup. That's kind of like, but now I wouldn't eat the rings. Those O's, the O's, they have gluten. <laughs> okay, your the events. Oh, so Ms. J, the events had to be under twenty five dollars one event for each letter of the alphabet most of what you did was free that's awesome i love it i love it that's cool free yeah okay yeah i'm curious what that's yeah <laughs> that's a lot of stuff that's a challenge too i love it that's a good idea i like that it's almost like um what are they called? Like a, oh, a scavenger hunt. Mini ravi or beefaroni. Oh yeah, <laughs> I never had beef. Or, well, I was a vegetarian in high school, so I just had spaghettios. But I'm sure if not, yeah, those little mini ravioli in the can look good. You, when you you throw a can of spaghetti o's or chef boy in the top of your pa yeah. Oh wait, it heat up as you were walking. How'd you do that? Like from the sun, probably. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so spaghetti, they're like pretty decent. And then you can even like, um, hey, Laura. <laughs> oh, wow. Did they get really hot? It's Kev, Val? Kev? Hi, Laura. I remembered. I remember last time you asked to be called Laura. <laughs> Welcome. How's it going? Um, Yay! We put some stickers. We pick put some stickers on the on the plant here. I used to love the Chef Boyardee box with the real spaghetti sauce and cheese. What? They have that? <gasps> Paddleboardy Japanese guard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I need to like screenshot this stuff. This looks amazing. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Laura. I, you said I'm amazing. Thank you. Oh. I believe you guys are all amazing too when I'm learning about you. It's cool to hear your stories and just that um, you guys seem are really nice. Like, it just, yeah. Um, yeah. We're amazing. Let's say that. Some days, but if weather was cooler, I'd put a rain cover on it. 
Oh yeah, so it, yeah, it'd like absorb the heat. Catherine's from Ireland. Oh, they had beefaroni in the late 80s and 70s. <laughs> yeah, beefaroni, those little like um, ravioli. I remember there was a, when I taught preschool, uh, there was somebody that would always bring in uh, that ravioli, those beef ravioli. It was like one of those kinds for his lunch. And so then I would open it, like helping at lunchtime. And, um, oh, it's okay. It's all good. I don't, you're eating a burrito. <laughs> I don't care about the typos. I care about that burrito. What kind of burrito? <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that was where I was like, ooh, those beef aroni actually look pretty good. And, and I was eating meat at that time too. I'm going to look that up. The Chef Boyardee kit. And you said it comes with um, cheese. Uh, let's see. Does anyone else have a YouTube channel? And Oh, it faded away. Um, maybe Rain, type your question again. Because um, it faded away. It looks, sounded like, does anyone have a YouTube channel? Before you got a van, but I still have a big yes. Yeah. So you came up with the name Fantastic. Wait, is it Fantastic or Fantastic? <laughs> Because right they, there you wrote fantastic, but um, I think your name is Vantastic. And what's funny about that is my video where I'm installing the fan. Um, I was having a lot of trouble, like, like fan and van sound so similar. And I kept having to use, like, I'm putting a fan in my van. <laughs> and um, I kept having to, like, go back and forth. So it's funny. So your channel is Vantastic. Um I got a plug. I came prepared. Um, I have my battery pack and I think it's charged. Let's see how many lights go on. Oh yeah, they're all there. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yes, burritos. I'm, I'm still haven't forgotten about that burrito. Um, oh wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. So my phone just said 20%, so I'm gonna plug this in boom and then turn it on yeah we're in there so it should be charging I can't tell um I don't know I'm gonna assume that it's charging I tried to put on but it didn't I mean those lights are on and it's plugged in so oops um the burrito <laughs> is it a chicken burrito a bean burrito a beef burrito um Laura we were saying that um Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just got a battery power pack. I, this one's great. I've had it. I mean, it, it's... um. Okay, I will have to say that I was um, getting some batteries for my lights because these lights were getting dim. And so I went into Target and got some batteries um, and they brightened up, which is great. Um, but while I was in Target, I happened to walk by the crock pots and um, there was like a little mini crock pot. Well, it was like a two and a half, to a, a half gallon crock pot. And um, it had like a regular plug. And I was like, ooh, I was imagining. I was like, that'd be cool. So those big power packs, like um, for my van, I did have like a, it was a Blue Eddy. And um, that was kind of cool um, because I could plug things into it. And it could charge itself. Well, similar to this, it charges. Yeah, they're handy. Um, um, but this I can plug in and charge while I'm driving. Um, so someday down the road, I'd like to get one of those big ones, probably for cooking. That's all I would use it for is the crock pot. I mean, I, I don't even know what else I would, <laughs> well, and charging stuff. Um, it, I do have to say like, um, I've been doing a little more door dashing, so it, things have, um, stayed charged up, but when I'm not, when I'm just like camping and, um, going to the serving job, I, I don't drive around a lot. Um, intentionally because I'm not trying to spend gas but these things that it's hard to keep everything charged up so I, either like a solar option or um, I did get like a box and so I'll go in and um, get coffee and plug plug it in or at work sometimes um, so that is it but but I've been making it work um, and the, the power it, this is great and this the power pack I love it. it. It works. Um, yeah. And, uh, 
and then I can I have like a dual charger so while I'm driving I plug my phone in and I plug this in and then I also have an iPad and that's usually the thing that's not charged <laughs> unless I know like I'm like okay I'm gonna like stay here for six hours and I'm gonna watch a movie and but then usually I end up just watching it on my phone um but I do have like dreams of having like a movie night in my car and setting up the iPad and getting it all charged and hooking it up to the hotspot. Um, I did do that in my Corolla and I haven't done that like getting popcorn and stuff and having with the iPad because it's so much larger. I just use my phone um, right now mostly. But yeah, these power packs are good. Um, yeah. So Laura, a 12 volt frying pan lunchbox. Oh, wow. 12 volt frying. That's cool. I mean, I have my pan here that I use on my um, burner, um, on my one burner. I want to try to like clean. It's clean, but I need like a scrubby thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I've ma I made stickers and um, I would like to um, send them to people um, and just share that. Um, it's an image that I created and it um, has my name. And there it is. I'm reading your question to Rain at the same time. So Laura, I added the email to uh, my channel description and I'm going to try to like figure out how to do like the link, but right now it just has it listed. And if you're interested in a sticker, um, this is just the design. The stickers are like smaller like this. Yeah, thank you. And I think, um, they're pretty durable. It's, they're like two and a half. So it's like, it's like that. But, um, I would like to send them out and share them. Um, so I would just need an address and that's, I don't know if, if people are comfortable, um, with that, um, then I'm happy to send those out. So I wanted to make sure you, you knew about that. And Rain, you were mentioning um, car camping and YouTube channels and that you're gonna be doing car camping. Barkeeper's friend, I'll check it out. Yeah, it's not horrible. Um, and then there's this pan too. It's pretty clean for the most part. Um, yeah, you're welcome. You know, they're clean, but it's like, I, I wouldn't, I wanna get it like scrubbed. Yes. Um, I say go for it with the YouTube channel. I mean, I don't know. I, I, you, um, I can't answer for the people in here, but, um, I mean, clearly I live in my car and I have a YouTube channel and I'm happy to share any advice about that if you're interested. And I say go for it. I love it. Um, yeah, I, I say go for all of it. Um, YouTube can be a little, little scary it can be scary but it's doesn't need to be and you can do what's within your comfort zone um there's a lot of people that do videos with no talking or where they don't even show themselves or um some people just really th do just lives and that's it or i mean it's just whatever you're comfortable with and that you want to do and um you know and it, and it's it, you could either um yeah absolutely and you can either like start from the beginning and document your journey of going into uh, car life because that probably would be interesting to people you know how you start out and um, get going and everything they probably that's you know I, that could be interesting or you can focus on adjusting to living in your car because that in itself can be an adjustment so to start both at the same time might be a lot so or try starting the YouTube channel before you're you know, while you're getting your car ready. I don't know, just whatever's comfortable. It's okay to take it slow um, and and build. I mean, that's one thing life has, has taught me. I'm kind of all about that. Like, you can do, accomplish quite a bit if you just keep moving forward and, and take it one step at a time. I mean, that's, I, I mean, I, <laughs> I did a short recently and I had like, I was looking over the, the about my, my car, my van and then my car and then now the Honda. And I was like, wow, I just like really like um, <laughs> converted the van and then like made the car home. I took the seat out and um, nice. Yeah, 
and now I've done this like I've done a lot and that was all within well the van took a little while um but I had the van I sold it about a year ago so I had that van and last was it a year ago yeah see it's like crazy so a lot has been done but I don't I don't feel like it's so much because I just it's just step by step it's step by step you look at what's in front of you and it does it's whether it's like changing a lifestyle um, you know spending habits uh, food that we eat incorporating exercise um, I mean that's that's one thing that it, like it's like so you'll see I have some shorts about just exercising one day at a time one day at a time um, I choose a sober lifestyle um, it's it's uh, it comes pretty easily to me because it's just some it just feels good and that's not something that but I know for some people that's a day-to-day -day journey um, and yeah like right now I'm I'm working um, towards saving for land and it's been hard I mean with the setbacks like the the Toyota Corolla um, and then putting money to get this car and um, I'm very grateful that I had the money to do it I had what I thought I was going to use for savings I had available to get myself into this vehicle and um, you know I'm grateful for that but it was like a day-by-day -day thing of being able to get to the point where I even had the savings to be able to spend on a new car and so I know that I can do it and so I'm again taking just every day by day and I'll get to the point where I have the money to buy land and to have for a tiny home I'll get there I'll get there and it can be overwhelming to think how do I get from here the very beginning of the journey how do I get from here all the way to where I want to go you know and I'm, I can imagine myself with my garden I can imagine myself I mean I think you guys have heard it like the two goats and the six chickens and <laughs> dog and my cat meowsers and you know a garden with strawberries and tomatoes and squash and food that I'm eating I can I can imagine it and uh chopping firewood and building fires and making soup on it and but it's like how do I get from here this is my reality right now is that I'm sitting I'm in my car I'm door dashing I'm serving you know it's like there isn't the savings in the bank how do I get from where I'm at now and uh you know to to the land that I'm yeah I, I saw that Douglas thank you I am I'm trying to I'm trying to show my journey to to show it, you can do it you know like um if you if uh and even if you go back to the beginning beginning of my channel you can see when i had the van it's like you know but i'm making progress i'm, I'm in this vehicle that i can also door dash in the van i did door dash but a lot of money was going towards um gas so there's progress and also i mean some of my waiting period was around um yeah i'm working day by day that's it <laughs> working towards my vision day by day and just keeping that yes you have to have the vision first and I'm I'm great I'm grateful for that I am grateful that I know what I want to do and I'm I, I I've had I've owned a house I've had a fancy career you know I've had all these like worldly things that I we think are gonna bring us or you know we're, we're told maybe we don't think it but we're told okay let me you know this is what is gonna fulfill me in life and um, that's true. I missed the comment before, but you're, yes, it is true, Douglas. Everybody has something to share. And um, even when we feel like we don't, we do. Um, and, uh, you know, it, I am grateful that life led me to realize that, you know, wh what I really value is peace of mind and simplicity. That Those are, that's like the stuff that's like so um, central to to my um, quality of life and so it's like how do I how do I achieve that and then and I and it goes all the way back to like being a child and like a young teenager of like I want land and I want to build my home like I've always you know so even though I took my life took these other twists and turns I'm grateful that I'm back to how valuable that is and with the time that I have thankfully available to me that's what I want to work towards and um yeah absolutely Catherine thanks for joining thanks and have a great night yeah um happy to stick send a sticker to Ireland if you'd like <laughs> um, 
yeah, email me if you'd like, if you, uh, would like one. But yeah, um, you know, so, and, 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 and I'm pretty sure I'll get there. I'm pretty sure because I've looked at, I remember when my van, I didn't have like any money saved up for a van. Yeah. Life is a life. Life is a journey. <laughs> yep. It is. And, um, I didn't know how I was going to get a van. I remember I was not making, um, a lot. Of, it was enough to cover my, my bills. Awesome. Yay. Good. Um, it was, uh, enough to cover my bills, but there wasn't really much extra. Um, but we did get those, um, stimulus checks during COVID and I thought, okay, what am I going to do with it? Yeah, you have to, you have to have the vision, the dream to know where you're going. Like this is it. And then when we start to like, we can look back, we can look how much closer it's like that vision gets closer. It's like, oh, now it's here. I can see it a little more clearly. And that's the other thing. Sometimes we don't know the path to get there. We don't know how we're going to, we're going to get there, but you don't need to. If you can see where you're going or like this, like mountaintop and there might be clouds all, you know, in between where you're at and the top of the mountain, but you don't need to, you don't need to see the whole path of how to get there. That's very true, Douglas. You just have to be able to see maybe two or three steps in front of you. Sometimes it's just the next step in front of you. Where do you put down your foot? And where do you put down your foot? And you trust that that's the path you're on because you keep seeing that end goal and you just do it and you'll end up in those clouds and you'll end up, maybe it'll take some twists and turns that you don't expect, but you're getting there and um, you just keep going. Um, yeah, peace of mind is huge. Um, you know, I, I don't need a lot in life. I don't really want a lot in life. Um, yeah, I just keep walking or driving. Um, you know, I, I don't, it's not that the actual having stuff isn't, isn't what's going to be fulfilling to me. Um, good. Yeah. Yep. That's good, Peter. Yeah. You don't ever say I can't do it. Yeah. Things might be hard. Like that might, you know, it's like, okay, that's going to be a hard thing for me to do. <laughs> it might be hard or maybe it won't be. I mean, there's power in our words too, but, um, I acknowledge that not everything is going to be easy, but it doesn't mean that I can't do it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I like to do this analogy of like a lake or a pond and you know, it's like, Sometimes you just have to like let things settle to be able to see clearly, see the water, see like, you know, it's like, and that's like where, see what's, what's there, what's in front of you. And it's like our thoughts, like, and our worries and our fears and our, what we think will make us happy, like all of that is like stirring up the pond and it's muddying the pond. And sometimes it, it, we just need to just to stop and, or pause and just things become clear in that like that pond that becomes clear and it's like oh okay you know and we only ever have this moment that we're in right now so um oh awesome yay yes <laughs> thanks laura I'm, I'm glad you're a part of it as well and i agree uh, this is a lovely lovely tribe um but we we only have the moment you know so for us to be able to be as present in the moment and that's where i think like the peace of mind comes in when we don't have peace of mind we're often operating in the future or in the past we're anxious about what's coming up we're we're we're, we're in our heads so much that like we're not in this actual moment of like okay i'm in front of my phone i'm interacting with with you guys on this live i'm it's a little hot in the car and you know i'm sitting on this bed i'm having my tea i'm it smells like toast. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like our senses, things that like bring us back into the present. Um, yeah, you save for three years to get ahead and every week you buy one piece of what? I'm curious. Um, yeah, you know, and it's that's what we have is this moment and it makes the the interactions we have, we're more present with them when we can interact with people because we're actually in that moment with them and we can tune into, you know, things that like are beyond just like, like our intuition and our, 
compassion and you know just I don't know it's kind of that's where that's why I value peace of mind because I'm without it it feels like the pond is stirred up and muddied and um there's a time for that but I think yeah I don't know <laughs> um not to get all deep I mean well I did um yeah yeah we do we tend to really rush you know and there's things there's goals and things I'd like to achieve and there's Oh, hey, Di and Max. <laughs> hey, welcome. Yeah, you're from Australia, right? That's us. I remember um, you were on the live when I did my car tour that had kind of weird reception. But um, yeah, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's things that I hope to, obviously. I mean, I was just talking about the goals that I'd like to achieve. And um, for the for the Ambo, not to buy it all at once. Oh, yes, your ambulance that you're converting. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did with the van. Um, so uh, I knew that there was going to be some money coming. And um, so 2800 I got the van. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm kind of intense. <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, yeah. I did. I saved up for my van and then I used like, um, I had a tax return, um, that I used to do the conversion. So I had planned that out and I was like, I know I'm going to have this money and then I'm going to have that money. So, um, by living simply and not buying stuff unnecessarily, I was able to know that I could use that money. Um, oh, okay. Wait, a uh, high, uh, yeah <laughs> yes totally yes circuses that's so funny i i used to joke with that it used to be a joke like i'm intense like camping <laughs> and it's funny because like i'm basically my life is camping these days so i guess it fits i'm i am a camper i'm a car camper i'm intense well no i'm in cars but anyway <laughs> same idea it fits um yeah <laughs> i don't remember what i was gonna say so yeah definitely enjoying my tea <laughs> i'm intense or cars <laughs> or suvs or honda pilots <laughs> oh good I'm so glad I'm so glad you guys are here and you know part of this and um it's fun the lives are fun because we can um you know get together and just like keep each other company and like share ideas and um it's uh yeah it's pretty cool I don't know I, I don't I, I feel like I'm getting a little scattered in my mind, so, um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have, like, questions about anything, or if you want to, like, um, see anything in my car, or, like, I don't know, through the trainer, Carmen, <laughs> no, I love it, the, the, <laughs> the car SUV off the track, yeah, <laughs> no, I love it, I love it humor and I think when I'm like um able to be in the moment is like there's like humor there's humor available to us sometimes I find myself just like laughing and cracking up I mean I think it's apparent sometimes on the videos where it's like when I look back I'm like that really wasn't funny but like it was funny <laughs> in the moment because that's it in that moment and it's like being present in that moment there's humor available um to us you know it's like being in the moment we see these things that are funny like the geese um uh, yeah i'll get back to that um like those geese that were crossing the street you know it's interesting to watch people's behavior when animals are crossing the road because there's a lot of people and i there are times where i'm in a hurry like um oh thanks peter humor and humility the live chat is great oh thanks um uh, you, you know it's uh, there or I think in one video there was elk crossing you know and it's like sometimes people are in such a rush and it's like 
But how cool to witness these animals, geese or elk or whatever animal is crossing the street, to slow down enough. And uh, yeah, those geese were hilarious. I love geese. I love Canadian geese. They're so beautiful, their colors and just um, the patterns. It's, it's actually what my tattoo is of. Um, the cool thing about geese uh, is they take turns being leaders. So they fly in a V formation, but this goose that's in the front it's not always the same goose. They take turns. So they go through these long migrations um, when the, you know, depending on the weather and they take, how they get so far is that they take turns being that goose in the, in the front and they, um, they share that responsibility of leadership. And I just, I love that. And um, I like how they, they're, you know, the community of geese that kind of like travel and they're, they're beautiful birds. Um, and there's a little more behind this tattoo, but uh, yeah, absolutely. Those geese were so cool. And I was like, what an opportunity here to like, and I get there's people that are like going to appointments or have to like pick up uh, kids from school or whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. And so I get that people have things that they're trying to get to and to have like the geese wandering along the road. And I'm over here on my DoorDash, kind of like on my own schedule. So I understand that. But I don't know. I feel like sometimes people, um, yeah, they did, they sure did. I saw them again today, actually. <laughs> I was like, maybe I should like record them real quick. Um, so that might be another thing. They might be here all the time, but it was new to me. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> a turkey chased on their bikes by a mean turkey. I've heard, I've heard, actually, I've heard um, Canadian geese can be kind of mean too sometimes, but these didn't seem that way. And turkeys? No, I've never been chased by a turkey. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for living in your car, yeah. And it just walked like right by. And so I think when we like slowed down enough to not be in like a rush to like, you know, not be like, you know, hurrying to go to the grocery store to get the, like, like sometimes like if we just slow down, it's like, wait, I already have food I can use at home or home, <laughs> car, car home, you know, or I already have like, you know, or I can go another day without doing laundry or like, I don't really need to go drive here or there. You know, it's like we can slow down enough to, um, oh, I missed the, the comment. And if once we, if we, we add a lot of stress to our own lives. Um, so again, why I value peace of mind, <laughs> uh, and, and being able to discern like what, what, what stress is like, is something that we're just going through. Um, go with the flow. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I've never smelled geese poop. Maybe not intentionally. Um, what's cassowary? What's a cassowary? That's uh, what's a cassowary? Your car's a bit bent. Is that a bird or like um, a deer? Yeah. Yeah, there's some elk herd around here that shows up, and they're they're really cool. Um, I, they, I have a video where they're crossing the street, and they're just out in a field. And uh, it's like, again, one of those things, like, some people zoom right past, and I'm like, there's, like, elk. We're surrounded by, like, 40 elk. What are the cassowary? I like an ostrich. Ostrich are scary. Yes, I have heard that. Ostrich can be very mean. A cassowary? Like an emu, I think, too. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be chased by a cassowary. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine they're, uh, do they have bills or beaks? That's kind of interesting. Yeah. But I also, well, I don't know. Oh no, they have talons too, not like webbed feet. I'm going to look that up. That's cool though. I, I I love like learning about new animals. A, a raptor? <laughs> oh no, that's a dinosaur. There were birds back then, I think, right? Like maybe it was a cassowary. I mean, there's the pterodactyl, but there had like, um, what are the priest? Emu, I think is like an old, are emus extinct? 
I think an emu goes way back. Yeah, it's cool. There's a lot to learn. Our, our natural world, I mean, that's another thing. Like, I'm not going to get deep into, like, what's happening with the planet. But I think that us being in such a rush all the time is part of our disconnection from nature. <sighs> emus, wild emus. That's cool. And their feathers, they're, like, so pretty, the feathers. And I think people, their eggs are really big but I think people eat them. I don't know. I love eggs, but I don't think I could do an emu egg. Imagine like a hard boiled emu egg. That's a lot of egg to eat. That's a lot of egg salad. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> Maybe. I do want to have chicken someday and eggs. I love eggs. <laughs> That's a lot of egg salad. <laughs> now I want some egg salad, egg salad sandwich. What is, what's everybody having for dinner? I was going to make, um, oh no, <laughs> that would use up like all my butane canisters. It takes eight to 10 hours to boil an ostrich egg. Are you serious? Well, yeah, cause it's got to like heat up all the way to the middle. I bet they do a lot of poached eggs. Is that where it's like runny in the middle? <laughs> oh yeah. The slow cooker. <laughs> Once, once I get my uh, power station and I get my slow cooker, I'm going to do emu eggs. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> potato and egg salad. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm going to grow potatoes someday. I want to grow potatoes. And I can make some potato and egg salad. That sounds good. Oh, that's what you're having for dinner. <laughs> Is that what you're having for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> A tropical smoothie with spinach. Yum. That sounds good. So what what else besides spinach was in there? Was it pineapple and banana and spinach? That sounds good. <laughs> what are you having for dinner, Douglas? Yeah, I'm thinking, um, yeah, potatoes and eggs someday and squash. That, I'd like to grow all of those things. They're, I could grow all those things. Um, I'm going to make a noodle dish for dinner. Tofu, mushrooms, and like fry the tofu. And uh, Carol commented actually, oh, 8 a.m. Oh, it's 8 a.m. Okay. So um, you've been trying carnivore diet for, f ooh, rotisserie chicken. That sounds good. That sounds good. I like a rotisserie chicken. And it can, um, is that what it was? Bananas and pineapple on the smoothie? Um, so the carnivore di diet, do you only eat meat? Um, or is it like only protein? Like what is the, what is the, the carnivore diet? Um, I'm curious. I like uh, what feels like most, um, when I'm really like feeling in tune with like myself, I like to eat like a paleo diet. No, just steak? That's all you eat? I mean, sorry. To <laughs> to just steak? Meat and eggs mostly? Okay. I mean, yeah, st that steak. Doesn't that get expensive? Um, I like like a paleo diet, a carnivore diet. Yeah. Okay. Well, I could tell you when I cut out gluten. I just, I was working at a natural food store and I was like, um, let me cut out uh gluten i just felt drawn to it because i started to think you know um <laughs> laura <laughs> you're on a cassowary diet <laughs> i don't believe you i think you're joking <laughs> um, <laughs> or the turkey that was uh chasing the bike oh that sounds good baked ham and baked bean and pasta salad Yum. Baked beans. I haven't had baked beans in a long time. <laughs> the cassowary. I mean, that would be meat, right? It'd be a, it's a bird. It probably tastes like turkey. I don't know. <laughs> cassowary. Oh, um, yeah. Paleo diet. So I cut out gluten because I was just like, let me try it for a little bit. So no like wheat, wheat products. And there's other things that have gluten. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, no, I almost did. I almost did again just then. Nope, I, I, I kept my tea. I don't have my saucer. My saucer's in the basket down there, so. Mm hmm. That would have been funny. They probably would have been all over the phone and been like, that's it. Like, <laughs> uh, as long as it didn't like come out my nose, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> But yeah, cutting out gluten helped my mood. It helped, um, um, I used to drink a lot and that I think has gluten in it, like beer, a lot of like beer and that, um, so like cut it, stopping to drink. Then I think my body was like, yeah, like, and now let's just keep going, cutting out the gluten. And it feel, I, uh, I used to like feel a lot more like depressed and I, I don't really struggle with that. I get overwhelmed sometimes, but I don't struggle with depression. So cutting out the gluten helped with that. Um, <laughs> yeah, like the emojis. <laughs> um, but the paleo diet's kind of neat with like seeds and um, fruits and vegetable. Oh, speaking of fruits, there are these berries. Let me turn the phone around. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to get out of the car because I'm like in a parking lot, but I can point these. I don't know if you can see them. Um, I just noticed these, there's a uh, berries raspberries and blackberries over there when i'm done with the live i might go pick some of those speaking of a paleo diet um pickled beets sound good i like pickled stuff i wanted to try fermenting like um uh I, i've wanted to make kimchi actually uh, i never have and this is the time of year where i make something called fire cider so it's like grating roots like ginger um Oh yeah, some people have a hard time with tomato family. The nightshades, like eggplant, I think is part of it. Peppers, tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> no, not the cassowary in the bushes. I'll have to, uh, I'll, I'll watch my back. I'll look around. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> now I forgot what I was saying paleo diet seeds i don't know i tried that for a while and that felt great but i like carbs i like um i like rice i'm gonna google them no i imagine them would have like scales like the head has like scales and then they have feathers oh yeah fermented foods cabbage for yes um oh and then nightshades yeah oh <laughs> yes i'm all over the place but yeah the um fermented foods i do want to try pickled beets um and I make something called fire cider usually, and it's apple cider vinegar this time of year. It's good, and it's got roots like um, ginger, garlic, onion, uh, hot pepper, um, and you put a jar and you grate all those um, those herbs and roots and stuff, uh, and then the apple cider vinegar extract, extracts the properties of that, and you have like an eyedropper full or two, like a spoonful or two of that every day, and it's... Um, it really helps. It helps with circulation, the warming. Somebody was talking about that earlier. I think it was Catherine about the warming spices and, um, and like ginger, garlic, it's good for the immune system. Um, and maybe when I make that <laughs> rice, rice. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And maybe, um, maybe when I make the fire cider, I'll do some fermented stuff too and have like a cooking day. Maybe I'll do live. I don't know. Cause I want to try making um, kimchi and pickled beets and also like green beans. I like pickled green beans. It's a good time of year to do some canning. Although that would use a lot of propane to can stuff to like boil a big pot of water. You miss pasta. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, you know, honestly, I miss pasta too. I eat pasta, but it's gluten-free and it's not the same. The texture's a little funny. Um, and working in an Italian restaurant, I'm always like, I want I want the fettuccine. So we have gluten-free pasta, but it's like a penne pasta. So sometimes I just want little long noodles, but I've, ha I've had some pretty good gluten-free, but yeah, it's not quite the same. But you're like not even eating like rice. Yeah, <laughs> what, the gluten-free noodles are a soggy napkin? Ew. <laughs> kind of. And texture. It's not just the flavor, it's the texture. It's like, 
you know the texture although at where i work we have some pretty good they're like they're not they're um fresh well they're frozen noodles um and i think they have a lot of egg in them and that so it makes them like springy they're pretty decent yeah <laughs> soggy napkin noodles <laughs> yeah i do eat rice though i can and it's um it's uh gluten um that's gluten free and rice noodles are really good like like rice noodles i guess that's pasta but i'm home oh yeah homemade spaghetti what that sounds good and then i the other comment faded away um but yeah ho homemade um spaghetti sauce that sounds good i don't know what oh yeah i'm gonna make the tofu and the mushrooms and the um <laughs> no i can't get on board with that because of the gluten-free thing <laughs> team rice <laughs> strawberries 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get any more strawberries from my straw. I thought I was. They bloomed, but then I think like moving the, the uh, strawberry plant from the Corolla to the Pilot. I think this plant it gets a lot less sun, so I'm happy to see they're doing pretty well still. This one needs a little more soil, and so I'm I'm not taking as good of care as I would like of this. I need to get some more soil. It's just hard because when you buy potting soil, it's like a giant bag. And um, I only need like a tiny little bit, um, but maybe next time, like I'm way out in the woods, I can. Um, of what the soggy napkin? <laughs> the, the, the pasta, <laughs> soggy napkin pasta, or the cassowary chasing me when I go get those blackberries. <laughs> I guess, I guess neither one of those images is out of my head, but yeah, um, it'd be nice to do some herbs over here too, a little herb garden, um, pizza, is that a pizza mo oh no, that's a steak, yeah, that's a steak, right, that's a T-bone steak, <laughs> I do like steak once in a while, I, I don't, I don't eat beef all the time, and I don't really like, um, <laughs> not on the floor, on the, on the sofa. Um, I don't really love pork. I don't like it a lot. I mean, uh, when I was a kid, I loved bacon. Oh my gosh. I would go to my grandma's house, um, make homemade sauce, pasta, butter, bread crumbs. Ooh, that sounds good. So yeah, I want to, um, redeem myself with the macaroni and cheese. There was that macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Okay, so the crab apples were a little tart. I do think it's possible to make like macaroni and cheese with sausage and apples and have it turn out pretty, pretty good. Those crab apples, and I learned, um, <laughs> I learned that, um, that maybe I picked the crab apples too early, <laughs> thanks to uh, the comments. Uh, they looked ripe to me, and I, I mean, growing up, I, there was a crab apple tree, like, um, near me and I would eat them and I just thought they were tart but maybe I've always picked them too early but I think they're also just tart um but yeah <laughs> I think everybody's hungry uh, but yeah those crab apples were it was like putting lemon in macaroni and cheese <laughs> so I, I you know I think I hopefully I conveyed that it wasn't the best recipe to try <laughs> but maybe like with an apple like a sweeter apple not those but I do want to redeem myself so okay I'm gonna try this I'm letting you guys know I was gonna do it a secret but I'll let you guys know so I want to make some macaroni and cheese and like actually make like a roux and like a cheese sauce and like do the do make my own cheese sauce and I'm gonna have to use gluten-free noodles but that's okay cuz that's okay but um and then um, make the cheese but then because I don't have an oven and I like to bake my macaroni and cheese. Um, <laughs> oh, you have greyhounds? That's cool. Um, I'm going to borrow. So at work, we do something called creme brulee. Um, 
crème brûlée. <laughs> See, lots of French foods. <laughs> potluck would be fun. I love potlucks. Oh my gosh. I love potlucks and clothes swaps. So I used to, um, this was years ago, like clothes swaps where people bring the clothes they don't want anymore. This is like my favorite get together of friends back when, back when I actually like socialized more. <laughs> It'd be like clothes swaps and potlucks and everybody would bring food and like clothes they didn't want and just like put them in a big pile and like eat and like go home with different that was kind of cool um but uh yeah <laughs> so creme brulee you turn on this thing the torch and you would like torch the top and it makes like a crust the sugar crust and so i'm gonna borrow that from work and make macaroni and cheese and put che grated cheese on top and then like um, yes, lots of cheese and put lots of cheese on top and then do the, the brulee with the, the torch and I'm going to make a video of it to hopefully redeem myself a little bit from butchering that macaroni and cheese. <laughs> what like trade you said myself? <laughs> yeah, so that's my idea. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Because, you know, I, well, I don't like the squeeze pouch cheese like that. I've never liked that. So it was a setup. I mean, I think that would have been okay. Like, I should have just left the sausages and apples. That actually was a decent flavor. But then once I added the gluten-free pasta and the cheese, it was, like, going downhill fast. <laughs> um, you grew up with 10 siblings? Oh, yeah, dogs will do that. Yep, they wait. And they're like, ooh, the spot's all warm. Yeah. Greyhounds, I've... I've I've heard with greyhounds, like, they, well, they run fast, right? Yeah, squeeze cheese. The only time, there is a kind of a squeeze cheese. I like cheese and crackers. There's, like, the one in the can with the spray. What is it? Is it cheese whiz? No. And, like, that sometimes, like, <laughs> sometimes, like, I do like that once in a while. But, like, not, that's, like, that, yeah, if I ate that all the time, I'd feel gross, but. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining, Rain. That was fun to have you. And yeah, I like your name too. I like it. That has an E. That's cool. Um, yeah. And uh, drive safe or drive travel safe getting your son back to college. That's cool. Um, Velveeta. See, I've never been a big Velveeta. Like, but I know, I mean, I, I know you can add it. I've added it to a cheese sauce before too, but it's like, it doesn't have too much flavor. I feel like, what, but uh, your goat's cheese. Yeah, like, um, I like goat's cheese someday <laughs> with my goats. I don't mind goat cheese. It has a strong flavor. Bye, Rain. See ya. Um, but yeah, Velveeta. I think... I think in a cheese sauce, like half Velveeta and then half like grated cheese. I've done some pretty good mac and cheese with that. Um, but what do you do with your Velveeta? You have to take your boxer out. It's whining. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll wrap up in. The, so it says 112 minutes. Does that mean almost two hours or does it like go from 60 to 100? Probably 60. Probably it's been almost two hours. Um, Oh, yeah, no greyhounds. Yeah, I'm glad you did too, Laura. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I heard greyhounds, like, um, yeah, if they get off the leash, they'll just go. But other than that, they're, like, chill. But you just have to, like, keep them on a leash. Um, and they're pretty mellow. Except if they have the opportunity to run, they'll run. That reminds me one time, um, I like to ride horses. I don't have a ton of experience with it, but I do, like, um, when I have the opportunity to, I'm usually like, yeah, I'll ride a horse. And so this was like, oh gosh, like, uh, I was in my early twenties and I was working over winter break at a lumber yard, a sawmill, like sawing lumber. And my friend that I was working with, um, bye Laura. Um, uh, my friend that I was working with was like, oh, I know this person that has horses and they said we could come ride them. So anyway, we ended up like, these people that I didn't know, and they have these horses, and um, they're like, if you groom the horses, you can, like, take them out on a ride. So I was like, sure, I have, like, a little experience with horses. And so we're, like, grooming them and getting them ready to ride. And they're like, by the way, when they get to the field, and it was just my friend and me. 
there was no one like taking us on the on and she didn't have like tons of horseback riding experience <laughs> and they're like by the way when you get to the field they like to race each other and i was like wait what <laughs> I thought we were going for a walk on these horses. Like, you're telling me they like to race each other? That sounds fast. And so, sure enough, when we got to the field, they, like, full-on, like, galloped. And I got thrown off the horse and, like, into a bush. Um, but, yeah, the greyhounds, yeah, <laughs> it reminds me of those horses. They're like, we have the chance to, like, run, so we're taking it. <laughs> and I just happened to be on the back of the horse. That was a learning experience. Yeah, I think greyhounds, um... I've heard that, that they're like pretty decent, um, mellow, like they just like to run. So yeah. And then like, a, oh, isn't there like a whippet is like a small greyhound, like a mini greyhound dog. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll wrap up in like five minutes. Um, I think it's been almost two hours, which is like kind of a long time. Um, much longer than I thought. Does anybody have questions about like the stickers or the hats or like <laughs> or like anything? Um, um, or like any, I don't know. I'm going to try to do like a blend of like on well, my travels. I'm thinking I might like DoorDash. Oh, I'm going to be DoorDashing. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's good. Yeah, the dog park. Yeah, dog parks are, are fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think I'll be winding, winding up, winding down soon. I use a, um, it's called Splice to edit videos. Um, it's, yeah, it's an app called Splice, and it's, I think, $79. And it, it was a three-month trial, and I tried it out, and I used it to, like, edit the very first videos that I did, and I was like, okay, this is, I can kind of navigate. I'm Like I said, I'm not, like, I don't... Sometimes like the buttons and stuff with technology throw me off. And so I didn't, I found it fairly easy to like navigate. And a phone call coming in. Um, but yeah, I found it kind of easy to navigate the, um, the, uh, the app. So I ended up paying for it and then I just renewed it again uh, in the spring, I think it's around the time. And um, yeah, it's called Splice and it comes with a bunch of, music that um you can use and um you just like upload the videos and then you can like clip them and you can like move them around you can add text and I just do everything with that and then from there that can get uploaded into uh my photos on my phone and then that gets put on YouTube that's how I do it um I know there's some other ones but I haven't really checked them out um because I'm pretty happy with that one and um yeah <laughs> that's the editing app i use and it's 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 fun and they add new stuff they add updates and like new features and stuff and sometimes like i'm sure there's stuff that i could be doing that i don't i don't know i haven't learned yet and i also use my phone i just use my phone um i don't think i've ever used anything other than my phone and i had an iphone 6 when i started a 6s plus <laughs> I was all excited. I was like, I want a 6S Plus. But it, I didn't get the 6S Plus until the like 11 was out. And I got it um, online used and refurbished for like 100 bucks. Um, no, I don't, I don't even have a laptop. Sometimes I call my iPad a laptop because it's like, it feels like that to me because it's so like big compared to my phone. But no, I don't have a laptop. I just have my iPad, which like, it's not even charged. I don't ever use it. Like I maybe, I got it to watch TV in my Corolla. And I had this like cool, I still have it, but it's not set up because I found that I can actually lean, I lean my phone against here and then this is my bed. And so I can sit like, you know, I can like sit like this and have my, I can watch, it's pretty comfortable. Um, and what's cool is like when I'm cooking, I can sit and now my feet are on the ground here. So I have like, like a little couch area and these pillows, you know, they can get moved around and I don't know there's stuff there but yeah it's like a couch you know sometimes it's in the back and it's got all this stuff spread out but yeah um I just use my phone that's it <laughs> for all of it yeah even now I'm using my phone 
Um, I don't know. So I encourage people if they're interested in getting started. It's fun. It's, uh, it's fun to do the editing. It takes a while though. And sometimes when I have like those longer hour long uh, videos, um, it takes a long time to edit it down. Like sometimes it'll be like two hours of footage and I edit it down. Um, Cause a lot of times when I start recording, I like pick up my phone. So there's like a little clip in the beginning of like me, like of, it's like not, you know, press a lot of times I'm driving too. And that's why I'm like, it's not totally like <laughs> so safe, but um, I'll just, yeah, I'm learning how to do it. I'm learning how to do it all safely. Anybody else have any questions? It's a, it, I see it says a, it's 120 um, minutes. So any other? I'm going to end the live. I've been really enjoying this though. This was fun. Thanks for the laughs. You have two phones. <laughs> No tablet, no laptop. I got a second one. Oh, we need use deliveries. Okay, I saw the end where it says deliveries. That's why I want to get another phone. Well, okay, so yeah. No, I had a 6S Plus, and then about a year ago, when I was like, you know what? And I actually started, like, consistently making videos. Um, bye. Yeah. Catch you soon. Um, when I started consistently making videos, um, I... Um, decided I would get a phone. So this is an iPhone 13 that I use now. And I still have my 6S Plus somewhere. And I think I could use the hotspot. Oh, hey, Richard. Hi. Nice. Yeah, you too. Um, thanks for joining. That's your new name. Um, yeah. Um, and, and, uh, it would be helpful for deliveries and vlog. Like, it's really hard to do the vlogging with the DoorDash and the driving. Sometimes it's like, it's a lot. So to have two phones would be helpful, but yeah. Um, don't forget about the stickers. If you guys want one of those stickers with this thing on it. Um, I'm happy to send those and, uh, or get those out to you. Um, and yeah, if anybody's interested in the hat, that too, that email, but, um, Thanks for joining. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day and uh, enjoy whatever foods they're eating. <laughs> I hope they don't get chased by any cassowaries. I hope you guys are safe. Um, and uh, yeah, no, no cassowary attacks. <laughs> and yeah, looking forward to um, the next live and hanging out with you guys again because this was enjoyable. So be well, take care. See y'all next time. <laughs> Have a very great day. <laughs> Bye.